Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated Nintendo Switch collection. There is a lot of video games uh, that have been added to the collection and another console and another controller. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. It actually helps me grow, it helps me reach a greater audience. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into this video and show you what I got. So first we'll start with limited run games for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, right here we have Cosmic Star. Uh, this one is opened and it is also number 20 for a limited run. Uh, this one came with a manual, the game of course, a little cool art sleeve back cover. If you wanted to flip the case, game case around and uh, kind of show it differently, display it differently. Next up we have Axiom Verge and Axiom Verge 2. This one is number 123. Uh, this one came with the series card. Take a look at that. Very cool. Series 3 card. Along with the manual, the game, and again, obviously you can flip the reverse cover art around and display it how you want. Then we have Pixel Junk Monsters 2 for limited run. This is number four. Uh, I might say that there is a lot of limited run games here that are sealed, and there are a lot of Nintendo Switch games here that are also sealed in this collection that I have not opened yet. But uh, again, as I always say in my videos, uh, eventually I'll get to them. Here we have Trover Saves the Universe. Uh, this is a fantastic game. I watched a review on it on YouTube and I thought I needed to pick it up and add it to the collection. So this one is number 90 for limited run. Castlevania Anniversary Collection for limited run. This one is number 106. I haven't played any of the Castlevania games as I've mentioned in a previous video, but uh, I, this one is open so I could get around to playing it if I really, really wanted to. Take a look at that foil card there. Very cool. Next up we have Definity Origin Sin, uh, this is the Definitive Edition, this one is number 55. Same thing, just like Castlevania, haven't played this one. Then we have Bad North, uh, I watched some gameplay footage of this one and I was intrigued by it. Uh, this one is number 58 for limited run. This one came with a full card and the previous owner who had this before me uh, immediately put it in a sleeve and protected it right away. So that's very, very cool of him to do that. Duck Game for a limited run. And this one is number 46. I haven't played any of this one. Uh, I haven't played this one as well. Uh, here is the foil card that it came with. Another recent pickup right here is Shadow Man Remastered. Uh, this was on the N64 at one point, and obviously with the help of Limited Run, they brought it to the Switch. So this one is number 142. Again, that one is Shadow Man. Here we have Oxenfree for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this one is number 10, and it's actually one of Limited Run's very first games for, uh, for starting their series on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is very highly sought after right now, just the fact that they're creating a second one, and this game is absolutely phenomenal. So everyone is kind of seeking these out for the Switch and for the PS4. So PS4 and Switch versions have gone up drastically. Here we have Celeste for limited run. Uh, this one is number 23. This game is actually getting a reprint, but it's not by limited run games. So the value for this game right now is pretty expensive as it is for, for limited, being a limited run game. But there is another developer uh, that I guess obtained the rights to the video game and uh, is actually going to be making it themselves. Dust and Elysian Tale, uh, this is one of those games that I was hunting for as I mentioned in a previous video. Uh, watching too much gameplay footage of it, it, uh, it got, got me hooked up, got me hooked in and uh, wanted me to buy it. It, it, it was calling for me. Uh, so this one is number 12 for the game. Uh, this did come in a collector's edition as I mentioned before in a previous video and I wish I did grab the collector's edition but I couldn't find it local to me. This this one and Oxenfree I found local to me for 220 bucks, which is a hell of a steal. Uh, so I'm glad that they're both in the collection now. Another recent pickup, uh, this one is the Red Lantern and uh, this is a very cool video game. Uh, I was watching it, it's kind of story based driven and I just love the, the fact that the graphics look very good for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this one is print run number 132. Right here is Miss Splusion Man. Uh, this is another kind of wild video game that I was intrigued by and uh, I really, really enjoyed gameplay footage of it so I had to add it to the collection. Uh, this one is number 47. Dreamscaper for the Nintendo Switch. I grabbed this one recently. I grabbed it for 60 bucks. Uh, and this one is number 130. Same thing with a, kind of like a, an Elysian Tale. Kind of top down, kind of 2D, 3D. Uh, very cool, unique uh, video game. 
Last up for a limited run, this is the West of Loathing. This is the collector's edition. Uh, this was, uh, I was actually just looking for just the basic edition of this game, but I saw someone had it uh, rec uh, like on the marketplace for, I think it was 140 I picked it up for. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just grab this then because then you kind of get everything with it. Uh, but I haven't opened it yet, but there are unboxing videos of it. And if I remember correctly, I think you get a banda bandana inside this, some playing cards, the game, and a couple other knickknacks. Uh, a lot of people don't really collect controllers, but I actually collect, collect controllers. Uh, same thing with my girlfriend. We collected so many controllers for the Wii U, uh, so we're kind of carrying the tradition on to the Nintendo Switch. We're kind of pumping the brakes on it a little bit, but... Uh, Anyways, uh, this is the first controller that we have right here. This is a regular white uh, Nintendo Switch power, power controller. Power A controller, sorry. Uh, it is wired and uh, almost all of these are sealed except for this one. And there is another one that's open, but it's at my girlfriend's house. Uh, so I'll show you what, what they look like essentially. Here it is right here. So this is what the controller looks like. Uh, they got very big uh, joysticks, uh, very, very big for your hands. Uh, very nice uh, triggers and uh, right and left bumpers. And every single button feels feels pretty good for what it is when you click it. It uses nice feedback. Again, that's just a, this is just a basic white one, right? So all the other controllers in this collection are uh, kind of like a, a very cool generic theme. So Bulbasaur is obviously green, and you know he's got he's got his his cover art on the controller, and uh, I thought this was pretty unique, and that's the reason why we picked it up for the collection. And then obviously we have Yoshi right here, uh, Super Mario Yoshi. Uh, again, another cool looking controller. That's why we added it to, added it to the collection. Sticking with the Mario theme, we have Donkey Kong. This one's pretty pretty dope. I love the, uh, the mix of the buttons. We got like the, the black joysticks and the black home and pause button. And then, uh, you know, just the, the gold for the, the D-pad and the cover art of Donkey Kong. This one is a really cool looking controller. And I, I wish I did, I wish I would open it, but obviously I, I just, I can't find it in me to open it when I, when I open up the white one, right? So the white one is okay and it does its job for what it is. So right here is Charizard. Uh, this one is enhanced wired controller and all the other controllers are just regular wired controllers. Uh, so with the enhanced version, you get a input headset jack, input headset jack and a mappable buttons for the controller as well. Now, I don't really care for all of that stuff, but uh, I just like the artwork of the controller, so that's why I ended up grabbing it. And the fact that Charizard is my favorite Pokemon, uh, we had to add them to the collection. Uh, it is also nice, I should mention that the, it is power and they're both the same company, obviously, but for the enhanced version of the controller, the thumbsticks look to be different uh, over the traditional wired thumbsticks. And then here we have a Pokemon Pikachu controller, uh, sticking with the Pokemon theme. This is a very nice, cool looking yellow controller. And here we have a Charmander controller. Uh, this one is also sticking with the Pokemon theme as well. Uh, I wish there was a Charmeleon controller. There could be, I could be wrong, but I, I don't think there is. Uh, that'd be very cool, I could have that to the collection as well. Now, there are there is another controller that's also missing from the collection. It is a Bowser controller that ran it right now is at the girlfriend's house. So right here is Super Mario 3D All Stars. This has kind of become a sought after game as well, just because you get uh, the original Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy all in one cartridge. Here we have Your Mori Lost in the Dark. This is a video game that's kind of been getting a lot of attention recently, being that it's kind of like a horror game, uh, top down horror game. And uh, the previous owner of this one uh, kept the art book sealed, which is very nice of him, because uh, that means it's uh, gonna stay sealed for me. <laughs> and uh, you can obviously flip the cover art on this one if you really want to and kind of display it the other way around. I tend to do that with some of the video games, so I might get, I'll get around to doing that right after this video. Here we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, this one I kept sealed just because I had it open on the Wii U. And uh, obviously Tears of the Kingdom is coming out very recent, very shortly from now. And uh, I'm going to do an unboxing of the collector's edition for you guys just because I have that one coming along with the Switch controller. I have the console here and I have the Switch case coming as well. Octopath Traveler, I picked mine up recently for 50 bucks. As I mentioned in a previous uh, previous short video that I posted, uh, this is game. This is a game that is getting a lot of attention, and uh, probably due to the fact that Square Enix doesn't really really produce these two minute doesn't really produce uh, these games that often, and uh, there's kind of like a low print run for them. So this one is in the collection. 
Next one up is Super Mario Odyssey, and this is Nintendo Switch's one of their best-selling video games. Uh, so obviously I had to add it to the collection. With that Super Mario Odyssey, there's also a Traveler's Guide bonus box like this. And uh, I picked this up very recently. I didn't really know that it existed um, until, again, very recently. Uh, but this is more of like a, a, a limited edition, I guess you could say, for the, for the game itself. And all it did was really come with a guidebook, kind of how, like, not necessarily a walkthrough for the game, but more along the lines of like, oh, you can pick this up, these are what the buttons do, here's how you jump, and kind of showing some of the artwork of the game as well. So this is a very cool collector's piece, and I think that this will kind of be sought, highly sought after later on in the future. Did I play Chronicles 2 for the Nintendo Switch? I haven't played too much of this one. I played one of the very first missions and kind of run around. That's all I really did with this one. However, the game is absolutely beautiful and stunning for graphics wise. Let's go Pikachu for Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is obviously a very highly sought after Pokemon game and uh, I've been playing it. Obviously this is a kind of like a remastered version of what was originally on the Game Boy Advance. Our Game Boy at the time. Uh, so I've been playing this one, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video that I used to have a Brilliant Diamond uh, that also came with the Let's Go Pikachu when I bought a Pokemon console, which I'll show you guys in a second, but I ended up selling Let's Go Brilliant Di uh, I ended up selling Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for Pokemon Arceus. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, uh, this one is sealed. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of Switch games that are going to be sealed in this collection. Uh, but I've played this one on multiple consoles and uh, obviously when it originally came out on the Game Boy. It Takes Two for Nintendo Switch. This is a very fun couch co-op game uh, that you should play with someone. Uh, I, this one is sealed, however I do have this on the Xbox One and it is open on the Xbox One. I've been playing it on the Xbox One. This is a very fun game. I don't really need to say much about it other than every time I pick it up I say you're gonna have a blast playing it with whoever you play it with. You hear the goose? That means I'm in Canada because the goose are very very loud over here. Here we have Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, this one is also a very fun video game. It's one of Nintendo Switch's best uh, selling games, uh, period, uh, to date, obviously. Uh, I played a little bit of this one. I didn't really grow up playing the Luigi's Mansion series on any of the consoles. This is actually the very first one that I did grab, and I played a little bit of it. Uh, Mario Party Superstars, this one is sealed. Uh, the only reason why it's sealed is because I don't really have people that come over and play these video games with me. Uh, that sounds very depressing now that I think about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, the fuck? what I meant to say was. <laughs> Where was I? Sorry. Uh, what I meant to say right there was, I, I have this sealed, and I have this sealed for the reason of the fact that the people, my friends that I go over to, my coworkers, they have this open, and I thought, you know, if I, if I, if I really enjoyed the game while playing it there, so I wanted to grab a copy of it myself, obviously. Are you aware? Get it together. Uh, I haven't played this one, I did watch uh, footage of it, obviously you get over 200 micro games to play if you really want to. Uh, the reason, uh, Another reason why I kind of grab this though is Wario games kind of tend to shoot up in value over time. Last up for this pile of video games, we have Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Uh, I got a very good deal on this one and uh, that's the reason why it's in the collection. So right here we have both of the Pokemon Switch Lights. These are very special editions, they didn't make too many of these and uh, these are kind of becoming sought after. Uh, so right here is the Zacian and Zamazenta edition. It is open so I can show you what it looks like. Mine right now has the has a plastic case on it, just kind of protecting it. Uh, so this is obviously the, uh, the console itself. We got blue and red kind of going for the theme right here. And on the back, uh, you can see the Pokemon are kind of etched onto the onto the console itself uh, but again I have a I have a case on the way right now so it kind of takes away from the artwork a little bit but it's uh, obviously protecting the console which is what I want so that is the Zamazenta edition and then right here we have the Diagla and Palkia edition uh, this one is sealed and I'm gonna keep it sealed uh, just because I can have that one switch light right there open and I don't really need to open this one however of the two as far as which one might be my favorite I'd have to say probably the Zamazenta one is just because of the colors uh, with the blue and like the, the pink slash red uh, but the if for the Diagla and Palkia edition it's it's black and sleek so it's it's a, it's a very sexy unique combination and uh, I think it's 
uh, gonna, I think these two consoles will obviously go up in value over time. They will become highly sought after. Uh, we've seen it with the 3DS Pokemon consoles, and uh, I, I don't see why this wouldn't have the exact same effect. Okay, back to more Switch games. We have the Cult of the Lamb. This is the Deluxe Edition. Uh, I did a recent uh, video of an unboxing of this one, and I did also a little bit of gameplay footage of that one. So super excited to have this one in the collection. And then here we have Overcooked. This is the Special Edition. And I've mentioned this a couple times uh, in previous videos, saying that this is a, such a fun co-op game to play with someone. And uh, all it is is basically making food, but you gotta make food in the correct, you gotta make food in a time, timely manner. Uh, otherwise you won't be able to progress the level and move on to other maps. And this game is gonna be one of those games where you yell at the other person and, and say, why didn't you grab that? Why didn't you grab this? And uh, obviously I had to follow up with uh, getting Overcooked the first one with grabbing Overcooked 2, just because we're, I've almost beaten Overcooked 1 with my girlfriend and uh, we, uh, we're definitely gonna play Overcooked 2 once we're done with Overcooked 1. Another couch co-op game is Unravel 2. Uh, I played a little bit of this one with the girlfriend as well. This is a pretty fun uh, video game that has to do with uh, two characters, uh, which are basically yarn and you kind of use each other to move around the map and uh, you can swing off of each other, uh, you can climb up one another and kind of move on to the next obstacle. It's a very fun video game. Uh, nothing too fancy on the inside of this one as far as the artwork goes, just a very basic cover but that's Unravel 2. Metroid Prime Remastered. Uh, I mentioned in a, a previous video uh, saying that I sold my GameCube version of this just because of the fact that I never really cared for it on GameCube. Uh, I, I don't really like GameCube controller and I don't really like how the GameCube uh, game uh, controls were. So I'm glad that they remastered this and brought it to the Switch. That way I can use both joysticks to kind of look around. So this is going to be definitely a, a, one of those games that I'm going to sit down and have to play eventually. This right here is Dark. This is the complete edition. So this comes with uh, one Dark Tower and the Dark the Crypt. Uh, this was also helped with it pr produced by a limited run games, but it is not a limited run number. Um, so I will get around to playing this one as well. Ori and the Blind Forest, this is the definitive edition. Uh, this originally started out on Microsoft. This was originally a Microsoft game, uh, just in case uh, you guys didn't know that. So this was uh, uh, kind of teamed up with Microsoft and uh, Nintendo. They kind of been teaming up a lot recently, as you can see right there, it says Xbox Game Studios. And uh, so we got Switch games coming to the, to the Xbox One, and then we got Xbox One games coming to the Nintendo Switch. So I think it's a very good partnership that's going on right now with them, with the two companies. Companies. Hollow Knight is another one of those Metroidvania type video games that are uh, highly sought after and it's uh, similar to Celeste where it's a very uh, platformer obviously right and I, I have no doubt in my mind that this will probably become a very collectible game uh, later on in the future and uh, once again we have one of those slip cover arts where if you want to flip it around you can choose to do so if you want to display the game like that. Here's a funny one. Uh, I did post a recent video of this one. It was a recent YouTube short saying that I picked this up for 15 bucks at a liquidation place. And I did I did pick this pick this up for 15 bucks. This is not a joke. Uh, as you can see, the case is absolutely destroyed. It's, it's mangled. Um, but uh, for 15 bucks, let's see if I can get it open. I put the tape back on that was on the case. Uh, for 15 bucks, I couldn't pass up on it because I, I know that this game loose is like 40 or 45 bucks. So. I gave it a shot, I picked it up, and uh, it works. So now it's in the collection, and I think I'm just gonna leave the case like this just because it kind of adds story to uh, to why the case is absolutely destroyed. So that's that was very cool to pick up Bayonetta 3 for that. Here's something that's very cool. Uh, this is House of the Dead remake. Uh, so if you've ever been to a the movie theater and you played one of those games where you uh, you walk up to the arcade machine and it's got the gun and then you're shooting the zombies. That's essentially what this is, obviously. And uh, I started off playing with those uh, at the movie theater. And uh, right here is the limited edition. So with this, you get very some very cool, unique items in here. So there's the slip cover right there. You also get the holographic uh, slip case design cover. You get some stickers, kind of who the enemies, enemies are. And then uh, some like popsicle kind of stand up uh, figurines. Obviously, the monster is in the game, right? I'm not gonna not gonna pull it out though. But there's the top right there to pull it out, and then you can kind of get them to stand up, put them in your room somewhere, wherever you want. And then obviously we have the game, the House of the Dead remake, right here. 
So I am gonna get around to playing this one, just cause again, I was a big fan of these when I was a kid. Uh, nothing too fancy on the inside, unfortunately, but they give you all these extra goodies in the definitive edition. So I'm happy with that. Here you have the Legend of Heroes Trials of Cold Steel 4. Uh, this has come become a highly sought after video game. Uh, and yes, you've seen that correctly. I did pick this up for 35 bucks and it was very recently. The game market value right now for this is pretty crazy. I think it's $135 brand new, uh, if I remember correctly. Another recent pickup is Void Bastards. Uh, I watched some gameplay footage of this one. Happy birthdays. We've got the big Tyrannosaurus Rex on the front with all the other dinosaurs on there. Uh, I watched some game gameplay footage of it and uh, it kind of intrigued me. So we ended up grabbing it. Uh, am I going to get around to playing it? I will eventually. I just have a huge backlog of video games to, to try and go for and, uh, and actually sit down and play. These last two video games right here are super rare games. Uh, it's much similar to limited run games, uh, but this was kind of over in the UK, Europe region, uh, where these video games are printed in very, very low numbers, right? Uh, so this one I ended up grabbing it uh, for $80. I actually grabbed two copies, uh, two from separate stores, and the current market value for this game right now is over $150 brand new, if I remember correctly. Um, so these have shot up in value, and I know that there's still video game stores out there that still have these priced at $80. $80 new so if you're lucky enough you can find one in person and you can end up grabbing it and of course this other super rare game is Ghost of a Tale uh, this one intrigued me when I watched some gameplay footage of it this one is uh, kind of still floating around the $80 to $90 range brand new um, but I, I anticipate over time that this one is going to go up much like Sally Face now last up for the Switch consoles we have the OLED special editions so right here we have Splatoon 3 edition we have the new Tears of the Kingdom Switch console and then we have the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet edition these two consoles are going to remain sealed uh, just for the fact that I have the Splatoon edition console that's open and I can show you that guys that right now so right here is the Splatoon OLED edition console uh, so of course with every OLED console you get the unique uh, color joy cons right so with the Splatoon theme they stick to the the obviously the paint and the fun and the, and the characters uh, for the Splatoon uh, video game right so we got the purple on the left uh, with the green kind of yellow these are like the different colors that you would spawn in and obviously when you're playing the game you want to paint the paint the arena to the color of, of, of your of your team right so this is the back of the console again sticking to more of the Splatoon special edition uh, theme and then uh, of course we have the the dock right here that the console would go in when you're hooking up to the TV kind of got the white with the paint splatter and then uh, obviously with the updated dock you get the removable back which uh, allows you to plug into your plug your AC adapter your HDMI and the LAN network if you really need to so these are the last Nintendo switch items that I own and I'm, I'm ending it with video games and of course I'm going to continuously grow this collection almost every single week I'm usually picking up another switch game it's always a new switch game that I didn't know about or new, another switch game that just intrigues me and makes me want to buy it or if I see a good deal on it I usually pick them up in sound mind uh, this was also this is across uh, multiple platforms um, and it's kind of like a horror game for uh, the Nintendo switch and I thought you know I'd pick it up because uh, I, I have a feeling that this one will go up over time. I said in a previous video, Trazomania, this is another Square Enix game. However, I don't think this is a very popular one and I ended up grabbing it for 20 bucks. Uh, I don't think I'm going to play it. We'll just see what it does over time, whether or not if it actually goes up in value. If it does, great. If it doesn't, well, that's okay. I mean, I'm not going to let 20 bucks, uh, 20 bucks break my bank account. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm sure this was a this will become one of those video games where it becomes a hidden gen, and then it just skyrockets one day. My friend Pedro, I've said it many times about this video game before. This game is so much fun. You got this banana telling you what to do, who to shoot, where to go, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a very fun video game. Uh, this right now is a reversible cover art. As I said, I do that for some of the games. So the original cover art looks like this. But I thought displaying it the other way looks a, a lot looks a lot more badass. Uh, and it came with a cartridge, a poster, and then the some stickers, and I believe the manual is behind there as well. So this is a very fun video game. I highly recommend that if you see this in your area, I recommend you pick it up. 
Spirit of the North, I've mentioned it before. Uh, I only played a little bit of this one. That you're a fox and you're kind of. And I, I was I was a I was a fox and I was in a cave. And I was following another fox who I presumed was dead, uh, which is obviously it was its spirit. But at the same time, I'm wondering if now that I think about, it, I'm wondering if this game, when you're following the fox in the beginning of the game, I'm wondering if you're that fox that dies. That might be a spoiler. I don't know. Maybe if someone who's actually beaten the game, maybe I just cracked the code and maybe I don't even need to play it. Uh, but this is Spirit in the North. As I mentioned before, I traded Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for Pokemon Arceus just because of the fact that I find this game very, uh, very cool. The fact that the Pokemon actually attack the character and at the same time attack your own Pokemon. So it's a very uh, kind of unique spin-off from the main series of Pokemon games. So I'm glad that this one's in the collection. Sea of Solitude, the director's cut. This was uh, another game that uh, sparked my interest in uh, wanting to buy it uh, just because of the fact that it's it's very unique right and apparently I've uh, after after watching reviews on it reading the comments and down in the comment section everyone said that the game kind of feel made them feel a different way so I ended up grabbing this one and uh, eventually I'm gonna get around to playing this one foreclosed uh, this was another video game where I was like okay you know what these graphics look pretty dope when I was watching gameplay footage uh, so I ended up grabbing it and uh, I will get around to playing this one as well last video game that we picked up recently and uh, it's Bramble the Mountain King. Now I remember watching so many YouTubers play the demo for this and uh, them just get, getting scared and uh, I am I am super excited to play this one. Uh, I, I keep telling myself I want to play it and I know I'm gonna open it in cave eventually and just bust it open and start playing it and uh, I know I'm gonna enjoy this one a lot. So that's it for the collection. Obviously I told you guys that there's gonna be more video games that I'm gonna be picking up almost every single month uh, until the end of the year and then who knows what's gonna happen next year. But uh, I'm gonna continue to collect for the Nintendo Switch and uh, hopefully we'll get over 100 games probably before the end of the year I think so uh, and then I'll obviously update you guys on my journey along the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and uh, subscribing. Obviously it helps me grow and uh, as I said before, it makes me, allows me to reach a larger audience. So thank you so much.